everyone, welcome back to another video by Indigo Math. Today I'm going to take you through one of the questions on vectors. So, let's start. Now let's go on to the part C. It says, I've got another new vector C and it's given by that, where lambda is a constant. And they say to state the geometrical meaning of B dot C, then later find the possible values. Let's do with the first portion first, the geometrical meaning. Let me just write out the question here. I'm interested in finding what's the geometrical meaning of the vector B dot the vector C. Now, do you remember, hmm. vector B is not just any regular vector, right? It's a unit vector. So if it's unit vector, if I were to write it like that, I'm going to change it as such. So now take note, why do I flip it? Because it's actually a projection vector. Why? Because remember, the question told me that B is a unit vector. So I'm going to think about like what formula we have that has got unit vectors and a modulus length of projection vector. And why is it that in this case here, I could just swap the order of the vectors. Remember, dot products, when you resolve them, you are going to get a scalar. So the order doesn't matter and I will just swap it as such. In other words, if I were to draw this out on a diagram, it means I'm projecting the vector C onto the vector here B. And what I'm getting is the length of the projection vector. If you're unsure what projection vector is, it is just the shadow. Where you project C onto B, you're going to get the length of this. That's what it means actually. So I'm going to write it out now. Putting everything together, it's just going to be the length of projection of the vector C onto B. B. So if you want to find out more, come and join us in our September Crash Course where I'm going to do a deep dive into vectors and show you how to think about all these more challenging questions and also take you through some of these concepts and how we can apply them in the exam grade questions. We will also be teaching you how to score method marks especially when the questions are really really challenging so at least you don't walk away with a zero. So maybe even that one two marks can help you get ahead in the A-levels. See you again in another video of Indigo Math.